Hello and welcome to what will be part two of my Wonder Festival Winter 2021 coverage. Today we're looking at the wonderful Hobby Life For You gallery. So you might not know what that is. Essentially, it's Good Smile Company and Max Factory's digital showcase for all of their upcoming figures. Personally, it's the part I look forward to the most every Wonder Festival because there's a lot of Nendo announcements. There's a lot of good scales. I don't want to sit here and keep talking. Let's just get into it. So, first figure, right off the bat, is Mia Karnstein from Code Vein. I'm not a huge fan of that character design at all, but I love the base. I don't know if this is a tail. It definitely looks like it's a tail, but that is so sick. Now we have a Chocola Chinese dress version from Good Smile. I think the thing I like the most about it is in the back there's this little cat silhouette thing. It's not like there's anything wrong with Chocola herself. The dress looks well detailed. I love the pink inside part. And overall she seems well made, but I'm just not a fan of this type of figure. Can we get a matching vanilla next up? Oh, we can. <laughs> I assume she'll be blue. She might look a bit better. Who is this? Oh, Ruby. I guess that's expected. They did do Ruby. Is her name Ruby? I don't, I don't even know. Here's another character from Chainsaw Man. One thing that bothers me, and I guess it's something that's true with every Nendo that wears pants like this, is that the joints kind of stick out here. In my opinion, it makes the legs look very weird because they kind of go in and then out. And it, it just doesn't look right to me. So I think I talked about this character in the Ami Ami recap as well, who is now getting a Figma. I think their design is really cool and stylish, and this will look pretty cool once it's painted. It might be the first Arknights Figma. I'm probably wrong about that, but it's the first one that I've actually noticed. <laughs> I feel like I'm really gonna have to start learning who these VTubers are. There's so many figures of them. I think this is a really, really cool concept. I think this is my favorite VTuber figure I've seen so far. The other ones seem very cutesy and kind of playing it safe. Whereas this one is kind of just going all out and being really cool while doing so. I thought this was Ryuko from Kill la Kill. And I thought they were doing like a wolf girl crossover with Ryuko. I think a lot of the figure options I've seen for VTubers have been quite pricey scales that don't necessarily look that good, aside from the one just before. So having pop-up parades is probably a really good economical option. Although live continues, how many more are there? <laughs> what one is this? Oh, they're doing figmas for all of them? Ooh! Ooh, Bondrood! Yo! I mean, aside from like, the special effects and stuff, he doesn't really look that impressive, does he? He seems kind of short, because his feet end like, here. I don't know what's up with that. Ooh, more Toho figures? I don't know anything about Toho other than very cursory knowledge of the series, but I do like the figures they've been coming out with. My only grievance with this is that she's like floating, so they've had to prop her up with this attachment on the base. I don't really know how they could do it better. Maybe, maybe it'll look fine once it's painted and if this ends up being clear, it could look okay. Oh. <gasps> Yo! God, what? What? Ooh! This is really unexpected because they did Pirate and Mithra years ago, like when the game came out around then. Um, just look at that design. That is so dope. The only thing I hope is that this can work with the Pyra and Mithra scales. I hope she has the same sort of base or something so she can like slot in the middle or... I, I don't know how they'll do it, but that's a big surprise because I thought they were completely done with these Xenoblade 2 figures. I was really hoping when I clicked next it was going to be the other girl. <laughs> but alas. Uh... <laughs> but that concept art looks sick. That's such a cool Ronin design. Maybe this could be my first Figma. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's a lot to take in. It seems very overdone, but it sure as hell looks impressive. Prepare your wallets if you're interested. <laughs> I had to look these characters up because I forgot who the hell they were. 
apparently they're from the final selection exam arc. I vaguely remember them, but it's very strange that they're making Nendos of characters who show up in, like, max two episodes. Like, they haven't announced Nendos of Kanal or Shinobu, right? Isn't Shinobu the most popular character in that show? And they're not doing a Nendo of her yet? I'm so confused. Zenitsu Figma? That looks terrible. <laughs> Look at his crotch. <laughs> wow, that is very underwhelming. Nadeshko I covered in the previous video. I've always found it weird that they do Nadeshko first, like she's getting the first Figma, she got the first Nendo. Uh, when I really consider Rin the main character, but I'm not entirely sure who is the main character. She looks pretty cute. I'm assuming that these joints will be pretty blended in since the jacket's already puffy, so I'm hopeful about that. Aw, oh, come on. Really? They really gotta do a second version of, like, all the Eurocamp girls at this point? But I feel like they can't justify it for Nadeshko. Really seems like they're milking Eurocamp as much as possible. Ooh, Bloodborne. Ooh, Figma? Okay, alright, alright. I love the detail they put into this. When they have to do like these high detailed sort of horror grim looking ones, I think the figmas turn out pretty cool. So definitely something to keep your eye on if you're a fan of Bloodborne. Ooh, Cliff, yo. What's with his legs? His legs also seem really short as well. What's up with this? That's very unsettling. Surely that's not how his legs actually are, right? Surely. <laughs> this doesn't look like V. I'm feeling like they've given up on making it look like the V from the box art. Now this, I think, is a really good pickup because you can just get the bike separately and the bike looks sick. The bike was also my favorite part of the Nendo. So having that for other Figmas to ride on is going to be really, really cool, I think. Uh, Johnny Silverhand looks god awful. That does not look like Keanu. It seems like they're not even trying. Bruh, what? Thomas the Tank Engine Nendo? Thomas the Tank Engine Nendo? How? Why? I I kind of can't process this. I'm getting chills. I can't imagine him having like any accessories. I don't know. Do you have to pay extra to get like Clarabelle and Annie or whatever his uh, carriages are called? I kind of want to buy it. <laughs> Ooh. This one's really cute. I think it's just as cute as Okami was. Maybe I should go back and play the whole game so I can convince myself to buy these Nendos. They're really, really cute doggos. Natsu is getting a Nendo. I'm surprised that the fairy tale characters didn't have Nendos yet. Ooh, is that the teacher? I, I'm loving that Eurocamp is popular. I, it's, it's very comfy. I need to watch season two. Why is there a gold vacuum cleaner? This vacuum cleaner looks like they got R2-D2 and then made him the C-3PO gold. Yami Yugi. I wonder what the card is. Surely they've painted the other side. Time Wizard? Pot of Greed? Dark Magician Girl, of course. This is probably one of the most involved pop-up parades I've seen because of the base. She's not just standing there like all of the other ones have been. Made it closer to, like, the sort of sculpt you'd expect from a good scale. Oh, Kaiba. He looks pretty dope. I think he's my favorite of the, uh, of the three. Just because I like Kaiba. Pop-up parade, Aqua swimsuit version, and Megumian. And as tradition, they have forgotten about darkness. I'm annoyed that male characters usually get 1-8 scales. This guy's looking kind of cool. I'd like to see him colored. I don't know what colors he's supposed to be. His hair sculpt is really, really nice. You're telling me they did Akita Alter before they did normal Akita? <laughs> Bruh. Looks like we're definitely in the thick of the Grand Order announcements here. Mysterious Hero and X Alter Berserker. Okay. You know, aside from the red lightsaber, you can miss me with that. Rider 2.0 for all the Rider fans. Rider really doesn't get enough love. I always forget that she exists, so maybe I'm part of the problem. Wait. That, wait. Why are they doing another Mordred? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This one exists. And then you're going to go and tell me that we really need to make this one? Like, sure, it's a bit more dynamic, but... I feel like it's basically the same figure. I don't know, it feels like a 2.0 of the previous one. <laughs> one seven scale figure. Saber Ultra Pendragon Alter. Heroic Spirit Traveling Outfit version. 
It doesn't even fit up here. It's ruining my thing. I guess the only good part is that it's like a more casual saber, like she's got a little coffee. It's kind of... It's, all right, all right, all right. That's kind of cute. I'll give him that. Ooh. All right, good smile. So obviously this doesn't look as insane as that company's Hokusai, but I feel like it's almost as extravagant. I'm really keen to see that painted. I think I might like it quite a lot. And hopefully it's not as expensive as the other one, because that one is, ooh, big money. That looks terrible. The sculpt looks so bad. They changed the placement of the scabbard and like her face looks really, really off. Has Shaman King ever been relevant in like the last 20 years? It's, it's probably not even that old, but... <laughs> ooh, ooh, what? What? Gyoza a fairy from Dora Hidoro? <laughs> You're kidding! Is this the final thing? Is that painted? I don't even remember this. But I love it. I love it so much. That's a dumber, more out of left field Nendo than Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. They didn't do Nendos of any of the other characters, did they? Seriously, they can't just do this. They can't just do that one. When I click next, there better be more. Back to VTubers? I'm sick of it. I'm done. There's so many good Psychano figures that I can't imagine anyone is going to prioritize this one unless they're just like a diehard fan collecting all of them. The Wedding Dress Zero 2? Wow. This is really pretty. I love the base. The pose is like really nice. It's so like uncharacteristically dynamic and fun for a wedding figure. The Triumphant Excalibur Real Metal version. They've had like 15 years to get Saber looking good, and it's surprising how many times Saber doesn't look good. Ooh. Persona 4? He's kind of cute. I, I wonder if they'll be doing the rest of the Persona 4 gang. Oh! Whoa! No, dude. They're gonna make me buy two Riser figures? Come on. She's 1 6? She's gonna be huge. She's got a little bird on her shoulder. This figure is going to be so good. It, it looks perfect. I love it. I love it so much. I'm getting chills again. What was the other one? Thomas the Tank Engine in this? Ugh. That, that really killed my hype. This looks terrible. <laughs> what is that pose? How are they trying to sell anything when it's looking like this? Oh god, Bakugo is even worse. It's so weird that they're still doing stuff from Symphogear Gear GX. I just want them to reprint the Nendos. That's that's all I want. Surely they still have the license if they're making these. Now this is a cutie. Have they made a Tachikoma Nendoroid before? The only thing that makes this a Nendo is like the smiles in the in the joints. Oh god, another Kurumi. I'm surprised we have to wait this long. Is this like the original Dragon Quest main character? That's pretty interesting. It also looks kind of awful. I love his face. I love his head, but his body? <laughs> Why is he green? Ugh. This is a granddaughter character? Why does she look like a librarian? That's gonna kill me. It's like I've got overdue books and now I'm going to die. I thought this already existed, but maybe I'm thinking of 2B. But uh, I guess this was to be expected. More quintessential quintuplets. Ooh. Altria Casta? That's nice. They're gonna trick me into buying another Altria Nendo. I really, really like the stuff. That's. It might be too cute to pass up. <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts Nendos look so stupid. <laughs> I hate the shoes. <laughs> too big. Rimuru Demon Lord version? That's cool. I don't mind it, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, Harimiya Nendos. If I'm correct in assuming that this is the main guy, then why would they not also have the main girl? I, I don't know. It looks like she's got, uh, like a cloth outfit, which is pretty interesting. And Chika, of course. I feel like you can't have Kaguya-sama without Chika. Nonon Biori Nendos? I, all, all I know is Nyan Pasu. That is from this show, right? 
There's another one from Nonon Biori. I guess they are doing multiple. Ooh. What? God, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it a lot. It's a shame it's a 1 8 scale. Have you ever seen an edgier character than that? Oh, this is the yearly racing Miku. Doesn't really seem like she has the unique charm or style of any of the previous year's racing Mikus. This one seems kind of phoned in. More Italia Nendos. Got UK and France. France. It's kind of cute. More Bang Dream Pop Up Parade. Looks like nursery rhyme from Fate Go. Anyone else seeing that? <laughs> They're doing more Necropower Pop Up Parades. All right. Sure. I wonder if all the promo hype has died out. I don't really see it around a whole lot anymore. I am very happy they're doing more 13 Sentinel figures. I'm not so happy with Yakushiji's face, and I don't really like Yakushiji anyway. <laughs> but the more love this game gets, the happier I am. This guy looks pretty cute and he's got like a golden snitch. Oh, Marnie? I think they announced Marnie a while ago. No, I'm thinking of the Figma Marnie. The way they've had to do her hair, I don't think works. Is this another Shinchan Nendo? I remember there was one, I think it must be a different one to this. So that's pretty cool to see that they're continuing them. They are doing a billion to love Roo swimsuit pop-up parades. They are all in, goddamn. <laughs> Ike is getting a scale figure, that's pretty cool. I'm interested to see how this turns out. Some of the other Fire Emblem scales have been pretty, pretty cool. More Rise of Figures. Oh, this one's by Wonderful Works too. Wonderful Works also doing Shara L. Greenwood from How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. And the Cat Girl, who is way better. And I will fight you on that. Is Haiku. I'm sure I've seen this guy before. The new Karasuno version. Does it matter? What do these Haiku Nenids even come with? I bet they don't even all come with like a volleyball. I feel like you should get one volleyball per boy. What? Nendoroid skateboard? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> what? Good Smoke Company, 20th anniversary skateboard coming soon. I wonder if these all work like tech decks. How do they imagine this is going to work? Nendos can like barely stand up by themselves already. And they want me to put it on a skateboard? I wonder how much it'll cost. Maybe I'll buy one for the lols. Puyo Puyo Quest? Yo. This is the PPP guy, isn't it? I've only played uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris multiplayer. They all have really annoying voices. Ooh, Guilty Gear Nendo? That's incredibly elaborate. I can't imagine the wings with this much weight on them staying up for very long. It's basically like a Nendo and then two little Nendos in one. I guess they'll make Nendos of all the gender bends from Cells at Work Code Black. I don't blame them. Probably easy money. Genshin Impact Nendos. These look really cute. Is that the playable character? Maybe I should start Genshin. Some people are telling me to. This could be dangerous for my wallet. Huh? There's a girl Merlin. How did I never know? She's so cute. She's so much better than normal Merlin. I might have to get her to go with my boy Merlin. Everything from Fate Prototype is like objectively better than, than the rest of the Fate franchise. She's cute. She reminds me of Jury from Street Fighter 4. It's an interesting design, looks like there's quite a bit going on, so I'm interested to see how it works in real life. Android Anniversary Container? For what purpose? I feel like I'm gonna buy one just because, but why does this exist? Is the 20th anniversary and all they can think of is a branded box and a skateboard? Yo! Look at him. He looks perfect, there's so much detail. I'm not fully attached to Jack Sparrow, but that's a cool Nendo. Oh, I guess we're in the Disney section. Oh, Elsa, she's cute. It almost looks like a wedding dress. Is that what they're going for? I saw something about uh, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin the other day, and the art style is really, really cool. I love the, the look of this Nendo. I'm, I'm excited to see what this ends up looking like, because I think it's going to be really, really nice. Nendoroid Hatsune Miku new series. What does new series mean? Didn't they, like, just release a new Hatsune Miku Nendo? I feel like I need to look up every single Miku Nendo just so I have an idea of how many there are, because I feel like at this point there has to be at least 30, and that's, like, 25 too many. Okay, I've moved on to the next one, which are these Haikyuu Nendos, which also say new series. What does new series mean? 
Does new series mean it's like a new version of Nando's? All of these are sitting. Why are they sitting? And they're sitting. Tell me, good smile. I need to know. This is the end of the gallery. Alright, I can't find anything. I have no idea what this means, but hopefully I'll find out later and I can <laughs> explain. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Someone tell me if you know. <laughs> Maybe new series just means sitting. <laughs> Fat Company put all of theirs on Twitter for whatever reason, they're not part of the uh, other gallery, so quickly, quickly go through them. They've got this painted prototype of Scotty Casta. I do like the colors they're using. Her dress seems pretty silky, and her hair is very vibrant, which I like. This is the Hokusai I was talking about like a year ago, I think. If they get the price right, I think this will be fine, but I'm feeling like this is going to be way too expensive for what it really is. Especially since they put quite a bit of effort into the base. This looks sick. Pose is really nice, the detail looks really nice. Her face could be more emotive, but I guess that's just how the character goes. Hello, fox lady. Her shirt looks like it's knitted or something, so hopefully they can get the texture on that looking right once it's painted. This girl from the Made in Abyss movie is really cute. My issue with this is more of an issue with the art style of the series, where there's not a whole lot of detail that they can reasonably put into it. And while there is like nice layering and shading and everything, it just, it doesn't feel as impressive as like a normal scale would. This looks like a glorified prize figure to be honest. Like, I don't know what they're thinking, but that is super bland. Maybe it's the colors. All these no game, no life figures all look kinda samey. This figure looks really stunning, and for once it's a no game, no life figure that, that doesn't exploit lollies, so that's a good thing. <laughs> wow. That's a really interesting base. I forget this character's name, but anyway, she's not important. I love like the the rusted effect on the on the lights. The pole has some like insane detailing there that I'm not sure if they'll be able to recreate. There's also some granddaughter scale announcements, and I think they're all characters I don't know anymore. I'm guessing she's gonna look pretty good when she's when she's done. I don't even what is this? This doesn't look like it should ever be a fate character at all. She's gonna like the Twitter logo on a on a coat. <laughs> Who is this supposed to be? <laughs> you can tell me this was a VTuber and I'd believe you. Oh god, it's another Karumi, isn't it? More Rise of Figures boys. <laughs> I'm really surprised how popular this character has gotten ever since I started paying attention to them. She's gone from like having two figures to having like ten in the space of like a week. It's kind of insane. Hell yeah. This character is from Arknights. This looks sick. This looks like what Mythos is doing, but it's by a Japanese company, so I am proud of them. Knowing figure prices these days by Japanese manufacturers, I'm gonna bet that this is going to be nowhere near as cheap as what Mythos can do for something similar but I wish them the best of luck for making this very nice because we need more figures that are this cool looking. Well, what a journey this has been. I thought I'd be recording for like half an hour to an hour and I've recorded for two hours and I've really had to rush through some things. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed looking at figures with me. This has been exhausting, but also a very fun experience. I really do love looking at the wonderful Hobby Life for You gallery. Every time I'm just completely blindsided by Nendoroid announcements and things that I, I never even dreamed would be a reality. Who thought we'd see the day where Thomas the Tank Engine gets a Nendo and you can buy a Nendoroid skateboard for him too. Like, <laughs> what a world we live in. <laughs> Once again, let me know down in the comments which figures you're excited for from this video. I think for myself, it's going to be Rise of Scale from Max Factory and the Xenoblade 2 Nia Scale from Good Smile. Those two are really exciting for me, so <laughs> I hope they turn out good. If you have liked the video, leave a like, 
and consider subscribing for more of recap videos like this. I'm Ando and this has been the Ando Experience, and I'll catch ya in the next one. Bye.